What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, no, it's been a minute since I posted a video, um, but today we're back with the 2021 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss Custom. Uh, I had a bit of a maintenance uh, thing that I needed to go ahead and take care of, and that's rotating my tires and resetting the TPMS, the tire pressure monitoring sensors. Um, so if you haven't rotated your tires before, uh, it is a little bit labor intensive. Um, you need some tools, jack stands, things like that. Uh, so I'm not gonna, I didn't film that process, I already did it. Um, but what I am gonna show you is how to reset the TPMS. Um, so I'm gonna show you in the book real quick, the tire rotation process, and then we'll get to resetting those sensors. All right, guys. So this is the order that you need to rotate your tires if you've never done a tire rotation before. So this arrow is indicating towards the front of the vehicle. Um, you jack your vehicle up, jack stands, whatever you gotta do to make sure everything is supported. The front tires, you crisscross when you bring them to the back and then the rear tires just go straight forward, okay? You follow that process every time when you do a tire rotation and that is supposed to ensure even wear, things like that, extend, you know, maximize the life of your tire. So I've already done that part, had a shower because it's super hot here already even though it's nine o'clock in the morning. Um, but the resetting the TPMS was the part that I wasn't sure how to do. So what I did was I got online and I found this tool. Okay, so you do need a special tool to reset the sensors on these vehicles, on these GM vehicles. So this was like $8 on Amazon. Uh, to me, that's well worth the investment instead of paying somebody 50, 60, $70 to rotate your tires every time you need it done. With a little bit of elbow grease and an $8 tool from Amazon, uh, you can do the rotation and you can reset your sensors yourself. So let's get in the truck. Let me show you where we're at right now. All right, so this is what my cluster is saying right now. Yeah, I know I need air in my tires. That's besides the point right now. Um, the point is, this is the position that the sensors were sensing last time that I had the vehicle with a key on. The idea is that when I use this tool to reset those sensors, this is gonna change to reflect the new location of where those tires with those pressure are actually located. So my understanding is you then hold down your, your little knob here to put this in learning mode. Want to relearn? Yes. You hear? So now we take our tool And what you want to do is you want to go to each tire and you're going to see where the valve stem is. You put this on the tire close to the valve stem. Honks one time. Go around the vehicle, do that every time. It should honk one time on each tire and on the last one it should honk twice to show that it's done. Again, valve stem's here, put it on the tire. See the green light going? Honked. Next one, valve stem. One honk. Last one, if this works correctly, like I said, we should have two honks on this one. Valve stem here, tool goes here on the tire. Okay, hold on. Nope, there goes the double honk. We're back in the truck, turn the key on. Uh, focusing is terrible. There we go. As you can see, it now shows the new locations. And again, yes, I still need air in my tire, so I will take care of that. So. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, like I said, pretty cheap tool. Uh, if I can figure out how, I'll link. I'll put the link in the description of the video. Um, but to me, well worth the investment. So that's it for today, guys. If you like this type of content, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.